Life Energy Chronicles, brought to you by Pure Energy RX, where everything is energy. Gratitude is the attitude. I still see that bumper sticker around, you know, practice random acts of kindness. And every time I see it, it makes me feel good. Lately, scientific research on human behavior has revealed why. Did you know that even simply witnessing an act of kindness creates endorphins in the brain? Biosciences are starting to conclude that humans are hardwired to experience pleasure from kindness, gratitude, and appreciation. So much so that even the act of watching someone do something nice for somebody else is enough to stimulate de-stressing biochemicals in the brain. In fact, the Heart Math Institute in California has been studying this phenomenon for many years, leading to groundbreaking conclusions about the human mind-body predicament we all experience. In reports published by the Institute, they demonstrate how by self-inducing appreciative feelings such as gratitude, kindness, and compassion, a powerful cascade of brain chemicals is stimulated, leading to increased well-being and creativity. Here's a quote from the HeartMath report. Quote, Appreciation is one of the most powerful core feelings of all. Applied sincerely and consistently, it quickly performs an attitude adjustment and shift in perceptions, improving your mind, health, and quality of life. Appreciation is a liberating energy, magnetizing creative solutions within and around you. You'll learn to realign sentimentality and low-grain anxiety into a coherent heart state of appreciation. Forgive and appreciate yourself. Cultivate resilience and generate appreciation anytime. With your new understanding of appreciation and sincere practice at engaging the power of the heart, you can make great strides toward living a less stressful and more enjoyable life. That was the HeartMath Institute report on appreciation. After consciously and specifically feeling gratitude and appreciation on a regular basis, I've concluded that this emotional state must be the most basic, natural state of the human experience. The body relaxes, the breath gets deeper, there is a permeating sensation of relief and fulfillment, It starts out very subtly, but with practice and frequency, the body quickly begins to amplify the effect as if to say, yes, yes, give me more of that. One question that usually comes up is, what if I don't have anything to be thankful for? Well, besides being a victim statement, it's really not the point. In fact, this is not about the questions. It's just about feeling. Gratitude is one of the easiest of feelings to create in yourself and can be done without needing a reason. If you need a reason in order to feel gratitude, look no further than your beating heart, your breath, your vision, your hearing, your consciousness. All of these can be reasons to be grateful. I have Alanis Morissette's song, Thank You, in rotation on my iPod, It came up on Random Shuffle yesterday and was perfect timing to show me a whole other deeper application of the skill of gratitude. Quote from the song, How about how good it feels to finally forgive you? How about grieving it all at one time? Thank you, terror. Thank you, disillusionment. Thank you, frailty. Thank you, consequence. Thank you. Thank you, silence. End quote. Although the context in this song is more about grieving the loss of a loved one, it points to the power of gratitude to heal grief. But it also turned me on to a method of honing my gratitude skill. Feeling gratefulness during difficult experiences and feelings. Just as we challenge ourselves in order to improve, the skill of feeling gratitude works the same way. In fact, Try this when you're feeling angry, impatient, sad, bored, or grieving. You'll find this skill has a powerful transcending action to it, putting the more negative emotions or experiences into the perspective of the big picture. From anger, humor returns. From boredom, interest returns. And from grieving, beautiful poignancy returns. 
The skill of gratitude returns the true self to you. It normalizes everything so you can feel the true reality of what is going on. That's why I've concluded that gratitude and appreciation are fundamental feeling states of the human experience. All other states arise from this one state. Gratitude is the feeling of coherence, balance, and harmony. And by feeling that feeling, the body responds immediately, balancing hormones, cortisol, blood sugar, blood pressure, immune system functions, and even pH. All of these things have been scientifically measured from feeling gratitude. Here's a deeper gratitude process. It's a shamanic practice I like to call appreciating my situation. And it goes like this. Breathe deeply. Now bring attention to your heart. Zoom in on the cells of your heart. Zoom further in on the atomic structure of those cells. Zoom into the vast space between each atom. 95% of any object is space. Now feel deeply gratitude, appreciation, and watch it expand through that space out to the entire universe. Breathe in that gratitude. Now notice how everything you sense is imbued in radiating gratitude. Breathe and let go. You'll find that the world seems to slow down and things look more beautiful and interesting. The Vietnamese mystic Thich Nhat Hanh advised, Quote, drink your tea slowly and reverently, as if it is the axis upon which the earth revolves, slowly, evenly, without rushing toward the future. Live the actual moment. Only this moment is life. Only in the state of gratitude can you fully experience this. My guru once told me, gratitude is God feeling expressed. I've always remembered that quote, but only until now did I truly understand it. Life Energy Chronicles, brought to you by Pure Energy RX, where everything is energy. Standing at the crossroads of your life.